my lords, ladies and gentlemen, hello there and welcome to the start of a brand new series and this time we're going to be playing some Cities Skylines. Now this is something I've wanted to do for quite a while, I wanted to make sure I got the mods working nicely and all the mods that I could think of that I would need for this series and I finally reached that point so I'm ready to start so here we are. Now I'm using all of the DLC expansion packs for City Skylines including the most recent one the airport expansion pack so they are all enabled and activated and there's a whole host of mods also installed for this series although the vast vast majority of the mods that are enabled are assets to help produce a good looking hopefully <laughs> yeah hopefully UK or uh, UK town or city so lots of UK style buildings you know residential commercial industrial as well as the city services such as the police stations fire stations the schools so on and so forth as well as a whole plethora of props for detailing so this is going to be a UK based city hopefully uh, I've gone for the name of West Bambridge, just made it up off the top of my head. It may be a real place in the UK, I haven't checked, but it's got a very UK sort of sound and feel to it. Obviously using left-hand traffic because we are in the UK, and the map we are using is Mountain Meadows. And as we can see, we have a bit of everything in terms of natural resources, although we are primarily geared towards fertile land, so farming areas and forestry as we can see but there is a slack handful of oil deposits ore deposits and fertile fishing ground we have all four of the outside connections so road connection rail connection sea connection and air connection so we can utilize all of those there's 69 percent suitability for building in the uh, on the map itself i have got the 81 tile unlock installed so we'll be able to build a huge city hopefully if we get that far the base theme for the map is european however i'm using a custom map theme the uk road project revived and that gives all of the roads a uk style skin and theme which is going to fit in with what we're looking to achieve so without further ado let's go ahead and get started hit that lovely start button right there and we'll see the map as and when it loads this could take a little while due to the amount of mods that are active for this series so what we'll do is we'll put a little cut in proceedings here and we'll pick it back up once we are loaded in so i'll catch you in a few seconds okay then ladies and gentlemen here we are here's our map and here is our starting bit of land that we have to work with dominated of course by this river coming straight down the middle here's our road connection off in the bottom right as we can see that leads out to this motorway over here that's obviously for future concerns we have nothing we can do with that right now as we can see the road is actually called the m34 i haven't changed that that is part of a mod that adds uk style road names as well as district names and stuff like that so that's good to see that working correctly so here we are at the end of the m34 heading into west bambridge so let's make a start and i'm sure we all know the usual start that we do here let's just move that out of the way so the usual thing is to just actually drop down one little tile of road and then delete it that way we unlock all the larger roads that we are hoping to work with so now that they're unlocked let's go ahead and what i like to do here is rather than continue this motorway or highway any further i end it here with a roundabout so what we're going to do is put in a roundabout so we're going there and then we want to go for the curvy roads tool and i like to come out four units and then four units and the same here and then we want straight roads again just level up with this road here and then we're going to mirror what we've just done there four and four like so and there we go we have a bit of an elongated roundabout and in the uk the roundabouts that serve as junctions for motorways do tend to be a little bit more elongated 
rather than pure and you know simply round so that fits in quite nicely there if I go any further, I would like to just have a little play around with the Relight mod that I have installed, so just bear with me. Okay, there we go. I've just had a little tweak with some other settings, and I'm happy with what we have right now. Now, the one thing I have noticed while I was doing that and just casting an eye on things in the background is this roundabout is rather uneven, as we can see, in terms of its height level raised up here and droops off down here now i do believe i have a mod which will allow me to fix that and i do believe it is this one here the network multi-tool and what i'm gonna do is go on to set slope mode click to select this node and then i think if we oh no not that control space no i, I don't know if there's a way to select them all at once, but basically we're going to select all the nodes. No, I think that's right. Yes, and as you can see now, there. Oh yes, there's the uh, the gradient numbers. If we now hit enter, oh, we need to include that one as well, don't we? Click to there we go, and now hit enter. As we can see, the roundabout has been. Oh, it's not been leveled off at all. We need to do this bit here. So let's just. Try that again. Try it again. That's better. Got there in the end. But yes, we've now leveled it all off. And it's even. It's just raised the ground up beneath the roundabout to keep it flat. So much, much better. Let's turn that off now. We don't need that anymore. And we can make a start proper. Now my initial thought is what we will do is we'll have perhaps a road come off this way and we'll have an industrial section over here and we'll have a road coming off this way and this is where we'll have our initial residential and commercial area and then we'll just expand from there so let's make a start and i think i'm going to use is with the uk stamp on it maybe this one here Although it has a median, I'd rather it be without a uh, without a median if possible. Right, well, let's go with this one. Bog standard six lane road. And these are going to form the arterial roads for both the industrial sector and, of course, the residential sector when we get to it. Distance or whatever, too short. Let's try that again. So we'll come off straight for now. Now, despite being a UK themed city or town or village whatever you want to term it as while we're getting started i do think we will make use of some grid layouts that won't be the overriding theme for the city we will eventually move off and then start using the wiggly wobbly roads that you tend to be more accustomed to in the uk but grids are not unheard of whatsoever in fact my grandparents their uh, terraced house was on a uh, grid system so they do exist so i think in the early game it's a good idea to use those just because they're very efficient and once you got on your feet and you've got plenty of money to play with then you can look at digging into the uh the more wibbly wobbly roundy roads but for now we'll have a few a uh, few grids just to get the ball rolling anyway so there's the two main arterial roads one heading down here which is where our residential and industrial sector is going to be sorry residential and commercial and then over here of course for the industrial sector now we need a collector road and i think for that we are going to use this one right here and we want one for the industrial area and we'll keep it like i said relatively straight for now just while we're getting things up and running so one there and we'll have another heading from this road out this way as far as we can there we go so that's your two collector roads and then obviously all of our suburban roads will come off of here and for that we're going to use the two unit wide roads and we'll use these ones here 
they have parking either side so makes sense to use them and to start with we'll do a nice residential district let's keep this straight first of all like that and we'll mirror it over here as well like that I'm not sure if they're the same length but that doesn't really matter too much and then we'll do the same here leaving as you can see a one unit gap between the two sets of zones and that's so we can put down footpaths between the two sets of houses at a later date as and when we unlock those but for now that's what we're having yeah it's very grid like it's you might think it's not very uk in theme but uh, of course as i said we do have grid roads from time to time and uh, yeah as we start to build out we will delve into the more irregular shaped roads for the industrial sector in fact i might even go wibbly wobbly straight away for the industrial and what we'll do is we'll come from that node here and I'd like to, as best we can, follow the curvature of this road here. And I think that's pretty much perfect. Yes, if you see the blue projection line for the road we're building, it does follow the fourth line of the nodes, of the zoning nodes, on the arterial road. So that's pretty much parallel, which is great. And off of here, we'll have... Maybe a road that just comes off to that point there. And then we might have one. No, I don't like that shape. Come out straight a little. Curve to there. And then can you go straight there? Yeah, that'll do. Perfect. Okay, so first things first. After all of that, we're going to need a power station. So what power station do we want? It's always tempted to go for wind, of course, because it's green energy. And we all want that these days, rather than chucking coal and CO2 all over the shop. However, for efficiency, I might go for a coal plant. I do have a mod here. This is the Battersea power station. For me, it feels a little bit cheaty. It's the same, in fact, it's cheaper than a coal station. 15,000 versus 19,000. Same upkeep, 560 per week. But look at the production difference. 120 megawatts against 40 megawatts. This one doesn't require water, so that is one trade-off. This one does, 800 tonnes per week. The pollution and the noise pollution, 50 and 50, that's the same. But I think we'll go for the Battersea power station. The only issue with this, and you'll see it in a moment, is the texture is a bit low res. Looks a bit blurry, a bit flat. But as long as you don't spend too much time staring at it, I suppose we'll not notice that. So there we go. So there's a power station. We want an inland water treatment plant rather than dumping our sewage directly into the water course over there. We also want a pumping station, of course, for a source of water. And we'll have that just there. Now we can put in the water pipes. And to me, it just makes logical sense to have these follow your roads. After all, when they're digging up the water pipes to work on them, in reality, they're always under the roads. So they don't come and knock on your door and dig up your kitchen flooring to get to the water mains. So it just makes a bit of logical sense there to uh, do the same thing and have them under the roads here. Under the roundabout, it doesn't really matter. We're not going to zone anything there anyway. And it's not like reality where the water board will pop around to your house and uh, start digging your floor up, like I said. So even if they go under the, the buildings in the game, it doesn't make any sort of difference. But for a bit of uh, immersion, we will keep them under all of our road network you don't have to go under every single road of course as long as you get in decent coverage you're all good however we are going to have to go under all of these roads because we don't have full coverage on the entire zonable area so there we go now we do 
Okay, that's that taken care of. The water's ready to go. We need to connect the treatment plant up, of course. That's now taken care of as well. We're going to need some power lines. Now, I'm going to use these power lines. 275 kilovolt power lines. These are a mod, and the power lines have a UK feel to them, as we'll see in a moment. Once we put them in. There we go. Look, you're... Very standard UK high voltage pylon that you see strutting across the countryside. So yes, using those to add to the theme. We need to bring some power over to our proposed residential district, of course. If we can find a way to get over this road here. There we go, over the M34. We've got it now. And we'll just have it run to there. Lovely. And the first bit we're going to zone then is this bit here. So we get that catchment bubble to include the pylon. Because if they all start zoning over here first, we're not going to have power for quite a while. And we don't want that. Right, let's put down some houses. Where possible, I'd like to avoid putting them along the collector roads. Houses, that is. And especially want to avoid putting them along the arterial roads. So we're just going to stick to the local roads for now like so that'll do and hopefully they'll grow in such a way that they connect to the power and then they can spread it along the rest of the district as and when they build we're going to need some shops of course so i'm going to put a row of shops just here and here and here leaving space of course for the future footpath in fact we should leave a bit of space there as well and do it like that instead the commercial areas i don't mind if they're alongside the collectors and the arterials but yes yeah, certainly wouldn't want them to be sorry the residential wouldn't want them to be alongside those roads and last but not least we're going to need a bit of uh, industrial so we'll do some just there and there in an effort to make sure we have a power connection and i think that's it i think we are ready to open the gates and allow the people to move in so let's go ahead in fact no 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 the one thing i do want to do before we do anything else is get rid of these traffic lights that we have on these junctions they are very nice UK style traffic lights. Well, some of them are. These are vanilla, I believe. And uh, yes, but I'd like to swap them out for a giveaway on the collector and heading onto the collector as well, like that. And we'll do the same up here as well. So the side residential roads will be giving way. To the any traffic traveling up and down the collector and then as they get onto the arterial they will give way to any traffic that might be on there now we are ready to go let's close that mod screen down open the gates and we'll go three times acceleration just to get things up and running and they've started building exactly where i hoped they would and as we can see straight away We've got very UK looking houses coming in. A few vanilla ones in the mix, but that's fine. We can play with the building themes because I have a mod that allows you to change them on a district by district basis. However, of course, we don't have districts unlocked yet, so we can't do it right now. But hopefully in the not too distant future, we will be able to. And then we can specialize the aesthetic look of our districts to suit what we're trying to achieve but yes already some very uk style houses looking here the nice semi-detached little bungalow here as i said a couple of vanillas uh, linked in as well sneaking in that's fine a couple of terraces yes looking rather british indeed not sure why these bushes are not being deleted when we draw a concrete road over them but there you go might have to take them out manually could be one of the mods that's doing that if it is i'll try and find out which one it is and see if there's a setting that can be adjusted no industrial buildings have been constructed as of yet that's fine they'll come as and when they are ready 
Well, let's just give it a few moments to progress in the background. In fact, let's not because we still have a demand for some more residential. So we'll supply that just there. And I think at this point we could pretty much start supplying this side as well. And I think the power bubbles should extend over here without too many dramas. I'm going to preempt the need for some commercial here when these residences are all occupied. So we'll zone that in anticipation, even if they're not going to grow straight away. Just like this industrial, it's not growing straight away. But when it's needed, it's there ready for them. So yes, we'll let it run just for a little while and uh, we'll take stock of where we're at and what we want to do next. So I'll see you in a few moments. All right, so we're back and we have unlocked our first milestone, reaching a population of 360 sims, citizens, whatever the, the term is in this game. I'll probably end up calling them sims. And that's unlocked taxes and loans and a few other basic services, garbage, healthcare and uh, primary education so we can put some of those down we can also increase our tax rate as well which we're going to do because the more money we have the better and while we're at it excuse me yes while we're at it we are using very little of our electricity and water capacity so we may as well drop the budget on those right down until such time when we need to increase it that's going to save a bit of money as well. So we'll go for 12% across the board for all of our zones. Residential, commercial and industrial. And that should help us turn a nice profit. So let's unpause the game. Let's go ahead and put down our first industries. Industries, services, shall we? So we have some medical centres. And we have a UK themed or style medical practice. And we're going to utilise that. And I think the best place to put that is over here near the residential area. So we'll put him just there. What we're also going to do is pop in, head into the select a vehicle option here. And we're going to go for a Mercedes Sprinter Box UK style ambulance. Now you can see here, all these bubbles are popping up complaining about sewage. In my experience, they disappear pretty much as soon as they pop up. There you go, so it's not actually a real concern. I think it's just an artifact from decreasing the funding for the water services. So that's all okay. We also have garbage, of course, and we're going to start off with a landfill, as disgusting as they are. And we'll pop him over in the industrial sector of the city, you know, with access to the main arterial road. And again, go into here and we'll use the British Dustbin Lorry. There's no preview for it, but we'll have a look. In fact, is that one of them there now? I don't think that's a vanilla one, is it? No, it is not. So there we go. That's our first two services. I don't think we're going to be able to afford a school. No, indeed not. So we'll put one of those down as and when we have the funds to do so. Let's go back to three times time acceleration and just let things pop in. We don't have any demand for much at the moment although residential and commercial is starting to creep up so we might need to zone some more of that in the not too distant future or well, the residential's dropping off again now but they're still crying out for a tiny bit of commercial although we have the space here so we don't need to action that although we will go ahead and action the need for some residential zoning and we'll do a strip along there and a strip just along there and I think that should be enough to satisfy that little demand that we have when we do unlock the themes and districts which I do believe is the next unlock let's just verify that yes it is policies districts district specializations etc etc 750 uh, we will zone not zone we will paint this as a our first district and we're going to set in the theme manager a special theme for this district. So all of the houses will be ones that we want to appear rather than having this current mis mish mix match, mish mash, whatever you want to say, uh, blend. There we go. Yeah, this blend of various different themes from, you know, the Cornish semi-detached houses 
to a small row of terraced houses to some vanilla some it was that edwardian georgian uh semi-detached there and we've got some modern post-war semis chucked in for good measure so we'll yeah we'll change all those so they all are much of a muchness still need a little bit more with the looks of it so we'll go ahead and see to that now and we'll do that just by putting an extra run on either side down here let's check water coverage and yet they need some so let's attend to that before we build anything we don't want them to move in and start shouting at us for not being able to take a wash and we'll zone straight across to there likewise over here as much as we can obviously it's a little bit cut off here due to the map boundary but that's okay and then we'll chuck them some more commercial as well like so they still need a tiny bit of industrial so we may as well sort that out for them maybe just a quick zone or two should be enough to satisfy that demand how are we doing on our usage around about a quarter oh, there's where the village already 750 new area districts as we've just discussed a few extra emergency services we can do forestry and agriculture now if we want to do there's the new buildings and a few policies power usage water usage and smoke detector distribution so first things first i'd like to get the district set up so what we're going to do is get the paint tool for the district first of all just run it down the middle for the central spine of the district and we'll send it right up to the main arterial road like that and then just give it a nice bit of blanket paint like so what's the district name going to be Penketh. we'll keep that why not default style oh no I, I thought I had the mod where you could uh, pop in your own styles maybe I was wrong maybe I've not got it enabled so I'll either get it installed or enable it between episodes uh, but for now it's going to get rid of all the vanilla houses as we can see they're all vacating and being rebuilt so that's fine in the meantime of course we can put a few extra industries down we can put no we've got one of those we can put a fire station and we'll go for one of these UK style ones and we'll put that somewhere half way so they've got quick access to both the residential area and the commercial area they are moaning about the power i'm thinking that's because this house has been removed so the bubble no longer reaches over let's just check no it doesn't what we can do is pop a quick substation down here though and that will sort that out it's going to eat up a bit of the zoning area but that's fine there we go now they're going to be happy we've also unlocked police so we can put a police station down and again we'll go for a uk style police station and that's going to be nearer our residential and commercial district i think just there again we're going to make sure we change the car and we will go for the bmw m5 uk police livery here we'll use the scania p94d fire truck which is the uk fire truck no power there i'm surprised that doesn't reach really surprised that doesn't reach but we can sort that out again with a quick substation if we put it up there we can guarantee its bubble is going to encroach onto there so people are not moving back in here what is happening have i just oh no they are i think it's because it wiped out the demand it's also wiped out the population as we can see which is not the best there you go hopefully that will recover we'll just leave it for a few moments and see what happens on that front hopefully i haven't just messed things up okay so it looks like i might have messed it up i have just quickly set it back to default style and um, what we're going to do i think we'll end the episode here on a bit of a interesting note i might have just paused everything up in a big way but I do think once I get the theme manager mod installed and working correctly, then we should be okay. And I'll do that between episodes and make sure it's all working as expected. So yes, we'll leave it there for today. It'll be interesting to see what happens. I mean, now that it's back to default, 
they are going to start rebuilding as we can see so it's it will be salvageable it was just uh, a bit of a miscalculation on my part thinking that we would get rid of just the vanilla style houses and instead just have the UK asset houses instead clearly that's not the case but never mind lesson learnt as I said between episodes I'll go away and make sure the theme manager is installed it might be missing a dependency or something like that I'm not really sure I'll have to dig into that and have a look it's one of the few things I didn't bother testing foolishly enough so thank you very much for watching I hope you enjoyed it if you did go ahead and hit that thumbs up button there down below it does help and it's greatly appreciated as well and if you'd like to stay informed of future videos whether it be city skylines or transport fever 2 then you might want to consider subscribing as well and uh, you'll, then you'll be notified when the videos come on through so all that remains for me to say is as always ladies and gentlemen you take very good care of yourselves it's tata for now